TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 384 points. You get the Nasdaq down 163. S&Ps are uh, down 40. It's quite a move, folks. Uh, bottom line is that we go over and take a look at these S&Ps. What you're going to see out here uh, this morning, pre-open, we had the S&Ps up at 34.96. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you've given up uh, 70 points inside the S&Ps. NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs out here, the Nasdaq futures. NASDAQ futures hit a high out here today of uh, 11,950. Bottom line, you're 300 points off of that. And guess what? We get 60 minutes left uh, of trading. And when you get a downdraft like this, folks, uh, when you've had a higher high, uh, the expansion uh, can be fast and furious. Gold. Gold contract also had caught a bid this morning. That gave it up also. Bottom line, gold hit, hit uh, 1923. Right now, you're at 1905. We've done 149,000 contracts out here. Uh, inside the gold market, bottom line, you're still in the trading range. What we had out here last week is that uh, bottom line is that we get come down on Monday uh, with the 260,000 contracts, yet that was going into a 420, 412. So you didn't have enough force on the way down. We certainly didn't have the, enough force in the way up. We get a sideways move out here. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the 10-year note right now. 10-year note is trading down four ticks. What's intriguing about the note and bond market, folks, is that it keeps pressing along this August 7th swing low. It seems like the Fed saves it each and every time. Uh, we'll see whether they can really save it this time. We get down to uh, 138.24. Now, that low is 138.20. Uh, um, the bottom line is they rejected it out here. And good old King Dollar. We go take a look at King Dollar out here. King Dollar failed the whole price last week. Bottom line, down 242 ticks. That's not bad for King Dollar. Uh, actually, it hasn't come down with conviction. It hasn't been able to make it up with the conviction also. Uh, but the bottom line is it looks like it's going to be a lot of more sideways movement inside this marketplace. To Inside the dollar. To recap, we have the Dow down 427. You get the Nasdaq off 182. You get the S&Ps down 44. And you can expect more downward action uh, as we go through this uh, next 60 minutes. We have the uh, Nasdaq right now down 1.5%. You get the S&Ps down 1.2. And the Dow Industrial is down 1.5. Come right back, folks.